Hey guys, it's Shimix back at it again, and today is the day we start off uh, the 23 24 campaign. So, okay, customized club, alright. Kits, oh ho ho, ho, I'm exciting. So, after consideration, I say it's time for Puma, I think. But, maybe. Alright. So, I'm actually going to change the colours this year. And I want to go for, if I can find it, white. Purple and white. So, let's take a look at all the shirts available. This is quite a clean shirt. I think, I'll consider that as a consideration. Okay, so... These two are nice. Just Puma, yes it is. Ooh. Oh, that could be the one, you know. Uh, ah, it's tough. It's tough. These shirts are nice. Can't do, go up there yet, but we will one day. But uh, you know what? I want it to be mostly purple, so I think we're gonna stick with this one. Purple kit, that is fire! Jeez, okay. Oh, wake it. We went blackout last season. This season, I want white out. Uh, this season, I want white out. So. Sorry, my sister just came in my room. But yeah, uh, this is white out, that one. So I'm gonna go for the most simple design. That way you can't really see anything else. So I'm just gonna go for this one. And then, for the third kit, I'm just gonna stick with uh, blackout. Just, yeah. Because, yeah, like last season. Uh, like, let's take a, what? Where is it? Puma. Come on. Yep. It doesn't really matter which design I actually pick here. But I'll just take that one. Okay, so these are the kits. I'm going to leave the... No, I'm not. Sakai's going to be dressed in blue. Alright. So these are the kits for this season. The crest, I'm just gonna keep it. The priory crest, however, okay, I don't want it like move to like a twenty thousand seat stadium. Just gonna give it a little bit of an upgrade to Octagon Park. So it's just basically now we've got the corners. That would be beautiful, I think. So our stadium's a little bit upgraded, and uh. Whoa, that is beautiful, jeez. And I'm just gonna go for purple seat colours. Wait, and now I wanna see it. Oh, I'm loving that. I am loving that, jeez. All right, so that is the new pri. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is the new Friday Crescent atmosphere. All right, go sound. I've got fireworks on, but my copyright, like, whatever it is, is off. So, uh, yeah. So, okay, is that everything we need to do? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. So, uh, new season in League One now. I uh, just got a bit of pre-season, won't actually play that. So, what I want this season, I want a new striker. A new CDM and a new right back Ashby will be gone. So let's take a look. I'm gonna look for some freebies. Uh and yeah, wait, let's take a look at our budget first. Oh yes! Five million pounds. Okay. So I'm just gonna find some freebies and then maybe I might make a natural sign. Not too sure yet. So uh I'll get to you after that. Okay, so after a bit of research on players in the free agents, 
There's two I really want to go for. So this Paraguayan, is that what you say? Centre back, defender, and this uh striker from Cape Verde. So I actually he looks really interesting. Very fast, very pacey, and his stats were brilliant. So I'm just gonna pull the trigger on him. We have loads of money. So I wanna pull the trigger on him. Crucial. Oh, that's a good sign. I'm gonna pull the trigger on him and not let the chance to get him go to waste now I don't know what to pay so I'm just gonna 9.9k par plus uh, 20,000 pounds come on accept that okay ne I probably did overpay but I really want to see this overall this player I'm hoping for high 60s oh, it's obviously now Hearts beating. Look, I do need a good striker this season. High 60s, please. Yes! Oh, that's brilliant. Marcos Andrade is our new centre forward. Well, attacker, yeah. Aaron Gillespie, I'm so sorry. But there's room for a new man from Cape Verde. Marcos Andrade. Let's just check out if he has a uh, potential of some sort. Because if he had, just have potential, that would be a big win on our side. Because we need a bit of potential here. Because I want him to be a club legend. Because uh, he looks just brilliant. I'm waffling now, but yeah. So he has potential potential. No potential on him. Let's take a look. Has he got stops on his overalls? Oh, yikes. A few stops. But no, 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 no. He, he's got potential, I think. But, yeah, he this guy does have potential. It looks like. He's very pacey. He's got good shooting. Very physical. Good dribbling. Good shooting. This guy will be one of our better players. So, next, we need a right back and... I'm waffling today and probably a new centre back and Ryan Feeney is going I don't know why it hasn't updated and this guy Harrison Ashby hasn't gone yet but uh, yeah okay let me go in for the Aniela Paraguayan defender actually there is a left back I do want so I'm going to go in for him Ibrahim Ali the Algerian left back I don't know if Cape Verde is in Africa I'm not too sure, but I want to see, because we do need a new fullback uh, to replace Ashby. So let's see what they ask for. I'm gonna give a rotation. That's a good sign. Five years. Good. All right. Release clause. They've asked for it. Pretty decent. But I was just see they're gonna ask for a little bit more. No. Okay. I need to see this. I'm excited. Ibrahim Ali. Come on. Obviously in A, there's no point of showing it to us. I just want to see this overall. Come on. High 60s. That is a plus. That is a W. Okay. Another new star player. This team is getting stronger and stronger. Alright, I will check if he has any sort of potential. But let me go in for Enrique Ayala. Okay, so I've made two other signings. Ayala, who will be a great player for us, but it'll be more on the bench. I think Jude Spencer still will keep his role. And this Brazilian midfielder, Alves, seems pretty good. He doesn't have a potential tab on him, but uh, I think he can have potential like this guy too. So, uh, anything else? I'm not sure. But let me. I'm gonna make a backup team because this year I actually want to do good in the uh, Papa John's trophy. That sounds stupid and all, but another trophy, more silverware. It still is silverware. Maybe a farmer's tournament, but who cares? You know, who cares? All right. Okay, there's so much to do. Season opener. So now I'm gonna look at contracts which have come, uh, like finished at the end of the year so 
I'm still debating who I should give contracts to. Mm, let me think. Uh, so I think we should keep Aaron Gillespie. Basically one of our best players last season. And he would be great for depth. Next, George Miller. Best player last season, I think. He would be great for depth as well. Put him on rotation, I think he will be great. And the rest of the players... Not too sure. I think I'll just cons I'll just wait a little bit and consider a few stuff before I make any decisions. Next, I want to show you the Youth Academy. Oh, it's a work in progress. The African talents. We've got a striker, Akinola Balagan. Is now oh, he's 15. No, this guy's a winger. <laughs> this guy, a uh, Sato. Uh, I'm gonna sign him up immediately. And I'm gonna give him. Uh, I'm gonna loan him out because I think he needs that. Because I don't think he'll get a spot in the first team. No, by no means he will. But uh, he's got very, very good potential. He's set for potential. So I think I'm just gonna loan him out so his potential doesn't crumble to dust. So yeah, is that all we need to get through? I'm not sure. I was. I'm, I'm just confused now. But yeah, Andrad, Andrade, I'll find how to pronounce that soon. But anyway, so yeah, look at him. He's, oh, I can't wait. He's physical. He's 6'1", 176 pounds. He'll be a physical monster. I know that for a fact. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to sort him out. Nice, okay. Boots and accessories, just accessories I'm looking for. Not, not gloves. Uh, yeah. So to rep Cape Verde on his uh, let's see, on his left wrist. Where is it? I'm gonna go with blue. What color? Dark blue tape. And on his right wrist. Yeah, for for the yellow stars. I'm gonna go yellow on long tape. So this is how he's gonna be repping. I'm excited for this guy, I really am. He will be clutch. I've put him as the number nine. The kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, they are beautiful. Jeez, I just love this team so much now. We've like we're so much better. So, uh, I'm probably looking to make a few more transfers and then from there we'll see what we can do. Probably get into like two or three games so yeah well this season i think i've made all the signings i need to so uh let's just do a quick rundown for the squad new striker left winger right winger this is the squad alves is going to be starting uh balogan will be a left wing back abate a new signing and spencer at the back that's going to be a great pair uh ibrahim ali and sakai and net and this is the bench Sato, the youth kid. This guy, just free agent, youth kid. Just another free agent I found that I was looking at last season, but he's gone now. Adramola, Ayala, and Gordon. And that's and this is the reserves. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. But uh, let me take make you. Oh, uh, I'm waffling. We've got loads of money left, and I would like to bring in a new scout 1.763 million Elijah Mitchell welcome to Shrimix FC so for this one I would like to send you so I'm actually gonna recall these scouts actually yeah but so for this next scouting project I would like to go f to Europe and America but first I'm gonna go to Europe so I'm gonna go to Croatia. That's the country I plan to go to for three months, and and wait for these two. I'll probably go England with one of them. Like with Ryan Bateman, I definitely go England. And the, this guy, I'll go Spain. I think, yeah, it's nationality. So that would be quite nice. So I think I'm just gonna get through a bit more stuff, and we'll get into our first game of the new campaign against i'll just skip all of this port vale yes port vale okay so i'll meet you guys there when we're ready to play our first game 
first game of the season in League One against Port Vale. I think this is quite a favourable draw for us, considering the new additions we've brought to the squad. Look how strong that team's looking now. I'm hoping Sakai, his overall goes up by a lot, because we might have to, we might be forced to replace him. Who knows? So. Let's get into our first game in our new purple kits in the new Priory Crescent against Port Vale. What? Where are the corners? Oh, the corners are there. All right, we're fine. But yeah, okay. I'm just so hyped for the first game of the season. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Okay, first game of the new campaign. League One. And we kick it off. The new sign in Android kicks it off. Is it more these camera settings be looking off? But, uh, yeah. Alright, come on. We can try Swindle for a result. I'm just waffling. Alright, let's just win this game. But yeah, I'm just loving the new season vibes. Feels good. Okay. Had that. Oh! Port Vale take the lead through a bullet header. I don't even know what that was. And now it is 1 0 to Port Vale. Oh, and it's a penalty. Did not mean to do that at all. Come on, Sakai, it's a red card. For the new star, oh, and I get chipped, and I didn't even dive there. 2 0 to Port Vale. I skip it. Oh, it's a great shot, and it's hit the bar. That was a really powerful play shot, and it's hit the bar. Oh, I just got my ankles done out. On the break. One last chance, come on. Oh, that's a brilliant save, you know. That's a good corner. And the half ends there. Just to say, look at the added time. Nine minutes and 24 seconds when it was four minutes added time. That is dreadful. But new kits are obviously fire. But we'll be taking L on our first game in League 2. I think I'm going to play one more against Morecambe who drew their game. But I think League 1 is a whole different level.
Simon Ali! Simon Ali bags one! Oh my gosh, this is turning out to be an easier game than I thought. Okay, just gonna make a few changes, just four. I would say that's like it's a little bit, but just trying to help out with squad fatigue and this is already pretty much ours, but let's not jinx it. So just play it slowly and I think we'll be okay. Oh. Jeez. Oh, that was a close one for a second. Thought I could just curl it in. Well, it wasn't really curl, was it? But you know what I mean. Just thought it would bend in. Then again, there was no bend. That's a, a foul, but we get let off with an advantage there. Jude Spence on nearly, and it's consolation goal. Well, I can't say that yet because they could sat Paul Buckley. Oh, I'm waffling. They could claw back the draw here. There's just over a quarter, over under a quarter of an hour left to hopefully get a result. Four minutes added time. That's a good kick out, you know. I want this guy to get a second. Ah, right, it's over. That's over. Okay, that's fine. All right, three two to Shrimix FC. All right, I'm very happy with that result. I think we're getting used to the League One system. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy will be very pleased with that result.